All right, welcome back to another Coyotes Quest. Uh, this will be episode two. Uh, I'm going to record it in two parts, uh, so it'll be a little bit longer than the last one. As you can see here on the screen, I was trying the 404 challenge earlier, and uh, I was not very successful. Now, if you'll recall, we left off. It was looked like it had been just starting to turn night, and I was just gathering some resources. I want to mention, uh, I forgot in the last episode, a couple of mods that I'm using. Specifically, I'm also using Buildcraft uh, by Space Toad, and I am using uh, sign tags and more stackables and recipe book from uh, Risigami. I'm just going to collect a little bit more wood, and then I'm just going to quickly dig a little uh, hut type base on the side of the hill just to wait out the night. See how things go. Rather um, than sitting on the top of a pole all night, I'm turn on the volume a little bit. Rather than sitting on a pole all night, I'm going to pick up some resources, uh, that sort of thing. See how it goes. Oops. I want to thank those who watched episode one. Um, I'm doing episode two whoops, fairly quickly just so I can get uh, more presence out there. I don't know how it'll go, but you know, I'm hoping for the best. Throw together some torches here so we can light things up a bit, see what the heck I'm doing. Um, oh well, I used all my sticks, that's fine. Now, Oh, hey, wow. Um, that was unexpected. And it looks like it's going to be a difficult way of getting down, too. On the other hand, it doesn't look like there's much down there. And I hope that's the case because I don't have a weapon yet. Yeah, it looks pretty small. And it's not nearly as small as I thought it would be. So let's make a quick way out just in case. And then we'll explore a little bit. And hope I don't die. It would, uh, die. It would suck to die this early into my first let's play. Okay, it's pretty small, and there is some coal, which is awesome. I'll be able to wear out the rest of this wooden pick. I'm just going to pause the game for a moment. My cat knocked over my fan. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I had a fan propped up in my uh, balcony door, trying to get some cool air in here, and uh, the cat decided to knock the whole thing over. So shouldn't take too much longer, I hope. Wow, this is turning out to be a fairly large coal stash, so uh, this will help a lot in the early game. I just loved watching some of the older Let's Plays where uh, people would be scrambling to find coal, and they'd be like, hey, I can't find coal, but nowadays it's everywhere. And you can practically go into any cave and find at least a little bit of coal. Okay, so you probably heard that. It means there's a dark room nearby. Um, no idea which direction, and I don't really plan on going searching for it, but hey, why not? I might give it a shot and see what I can find. Since it can be up to five squares in any direction, um, it could be difficult to find. Okay, so uh, before I go any further, I'm just going to whip together a 
couple more tools here. Specifically, a stone pick and two, sorry, two stone picks and a stone shovel. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find a little bit of iron down here. Um, I should probably make a weapon as well, just in case. So I'm going to make a stone sword. Pretty much never make wooden swords unless it's uh, to get an achievement or something. And move my torches here. That's where I always keep my torches. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little bit strange about some things. That's one of them. Okay, so I'll pick this back up and uh, we'll poke around a little bit, see if we can find that uh, hidden room, that dark room. Now we were right about here when I heard the sound, so I'm going to assume it's probably more that way or down. I do, do like to use F3 to find stuff sometimes. Um, I'm going to try and avoid it for the Let's Play. But, you know, occasionally I might be, you know, forced to do it, or I might use it for counting off coordinates. Which is another thing I do a lot. Hey, more cool. Awesome. Maybe this coal will lead us to the dark room, or perhaps some iron. I don't know how many times I've unburied an entire section of coal only to find more stuff behind it, so it's pretty awesome. And even if I don't, I won't need coal for a while. See, that's not entirely true. I love to make glass. So I go through the hole at making glass. Oh, a little bit of lag there. It's unusual. I usually don't get much in the way of uh, frame, frame lag. Now, mind you, I occasionally do get uh, what simple, some people call the lag spike of doom or lag spike of death, where my frame rate will drop to about two and it won't change back from that for a while. Um, if that happens, I'll pause the video. I'll let everybody know, and then pause the video and wait for it to fix itself before I uh, continue recording. It's no fun to watch somebody playing at two frames per second, believe me. We're not really finding much. Oops. That's another torch. Uh, that's the way we came, right? Yeah. Wow, we really came a long ways. And I have well over a stack of coal already. So and we haven't heard the cavern sounds in a while, so I'm gonna go back this way and dig down a bit. But I'm not gonna cut myself off either. Look like I was about to there. Uh, that's back the way we came. Good. Some people like to do um, single block stairs. I generally don't unless I'm in deep underground and trying to find my way back to the surface. Usually I'll dig these these wider staircases. finding anything so I'm just gonna go back. I don't think it'll be day yet but we'll just take a quick peek. Ooh spider. I'll be up there. Oh it is daytime. How do you know? Here, spider spider spider. Excuse me. Alright. Uh, looks like it's been day for a few minutes, too. 
Okay, so let's keep on our quest. I'm going to avoid the creeper for now. Keep on our quest to find a home. And that is a well, creature's wolf. They tend to be aggressive. Yeah. Well, there's actually a whole pack of them, so let's go this way a little bit. I'm not afraid of fighting wolves, although I am injured right now and don't really have any food to my recollection. Oh, I do have some apples. That's okay. But, you know, I'd rather find a home first. Drop stuff off in the chest, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, this is kind of a nice area. Not really a lot of cover, uh, but there's a lot of space for trees. Make a, uh, a spawn trap. Actually, this looks a little bit like a plane from another game of mine. So that's kind of weird. Got some water, which is good. Come here, piggy. Come here, piggy. Yes. See this tree here? Uh, or rather, these logs? I have tree death turned on in Nature's Overhaul, but I have it set to, I think, very slow. So. Uh, they do die periodically. When they die, they turn into a pile of uh, logs. Because I've got it set to very low, it's not going to be something we run into very often. I uh, had it set on average on another game, and it just ended up very much wood. It just seemed like it was too good. So, this is a game about collecting, not uh, just picking up that stuff. And there's another one. That's kind of surprising. This is kind of a, a weird area. We've got like Arctic and then desert. Uh, actually, I guess this technically is beach because there's palm trees going on and palm trees in the deserts. I need your food. Thank you. And this is a palm tree with bananas, so I'm just going to grab those bananas because they're just nice and close to the ground. And we're getting close to stopping time. Banana. Did I get it? Yes. Banana. Banana. They can apparently make banana cream pies with these, I think, is what it is. Wow. Well, I'll gather up some sand. And, uh... Once I've gathered up a little bit of sand here, I'll pause the game so that I can uh, stop the video and move it to another directory so that I don't get mixed up, on, mixed up on what is there. Can't seem to figure out how to name stuff how I want it in the fraps. Alright, I'm going to pause here uh, and we'll go on to part two here shortly.